guys, and thank you for watching Megan's Favorites. So today is going to be a little bit of a different video from some of the other videos that I've posted. Um, there is an unboxing, but I've got a little bit of, um, I guess, a story to tell that goes along with the unboxing. So first I'd like to talk about um, one of my nearest and dearest friends, um, my best girl, Fiona. Um, Fiona was my Labrador Retriever. She was 12 years old. Um, and recently, uh, my husband and I did, did lose her, um, and this was, you know, just due to complications from old age. Um, she was 12 years old and truly just the best companion, just such a beautiful girl. <laughs> um, Labrador Retrievers, as I'm sure a lot of you know, they're just such beautiful dogs. They have such amazing personalities, and Fiona was not um, any different. She was so, so sociable. She loved to meet new people. She loved to cuddle and um, just hang out with us. Every time I would open the door um, after being away, even if it was only just, you know, five minutes to go check the mail, she would just be so excited to see me. And the love and compassion and unconditional friendship that she taught me um, is something I'll never forget. Uh, I do have a picture to show, um, so I hope that you guys can all see this picture. That is Fiona and I at the Ottawa Tulip Festival. Um, it was one of my favorite days. She was just so excited to run around the park and um, sniff all the flowers, and people were, you know, just enamored with her because she was just so friendly. And she's she's really going to be missed by us and her presence is is already missed you know I, I catch myself calling her name and I catch myself looking for her um, and you know it, it won't be quite the same without her but um, I'm choosing to believe that she's kind of looking out for me and she's she's still around and um, you know she'll, she'll always you know have a, have a huge piece of my heart uh, that being said you know things do move on and it's hard to move on and it can be tough and there can be things that can can make that easier I guess um, unexpectedly we did have a friend join our lives um, it was not planned uh, by any means but I would like to take this opportunity to introduce you all to Victoria so she's just being handed over so here is Victoria. Um, she is a nine-week-old Borador. Um, so for those of you who are not familiar with the breed, a Borador is a Border Collie Lab Mix. Um, she, like I said, she's nine weeks old and she's, she's pretty um, squirmy here right now. She'd rather be playing um, than be on video. Um, she's about 13 pounds right now, so she's going to be, um, she's going to be a big dog. And I think just the playfulness of a puppy, um, the energy, the, you know, zest for life and how everything is so new. I'm actually just going to put her down and let her play because, you know, she doesn't want to be held and just hang out on camera. <laughs> um, has made this um, transition to not having Fiona just a little bit um, lighter on our hearts. We miss her terribly and, you know, it, it won't be the same. But having this new puppy has, has given my husband and I something to really focus on um, and pour our energy into. And for those of you who have had a puppy, um, you know just how much work they are. <laughs> so it's, it's, been, um, it's been a challenge, but it's been a fun challenge. Now, the unboxing part of this video is a bark box. So when I started to, um, or when I decided to start making YouTube videos, I had actually ordered this uh, for Fiona, um, but now this will be for, for Little Miss Victoria. Um, essentially what BarkBox is, is a monthly subscription box for treats and toys for your four-legged friends. Um, what I did was a one-time subscription, so it's a gift box. And with the subscription, um, it is $29. Now, the longer the subscription, the more economical it becomes. So I believe if you do a year subscription, it goes down to $19. Um, so that's not too bad. Um, and they do ensure that the value of the box is higher than the price you're paying. 
And of course, this is in American dollars and there is a small shipping fee to come to Canada. So, like I said, this was for Fiona. It will now be shared with Victoria and we can open this up. I have not taken a look um, and see what goodies uh, she'll be getting. So, it's not sealed great. It looks like it's just a little bit of packing tape. And let's open it up here. So there is the welcome card. And this just says to Fiona because um, that's who I had ordered it from. So it's just a little message that you can have on the card. I'm just going to put that over here. Um, there is a guide to BarkBox and Co. Um, so this is just, I think, letting you know kind of what the products are, what the company is. Because this is a gift, it's um, designed to be given to someone as a first-time box. So it's kind of nice just to kind of describe exactly what, um, what they're getting. And then finally, what's in the box. So it says, Central Park and Stop at First, treat you there. So welcome to New York City, the home of BarkBox. There's no place we'd rather mark as our own. And so it seems as though this bark box is going to have um, a New York City theme. Oh, so they have um, really cute little bark box paper um, with New York City. There's dogs wearing shirts that say I love New York City and a New York sightseeing bus with dogs on it. So already it's, it's cute. So let's get the product card back. The first thing I see is it says no brainers, New York City jerky chews, roasted duck recipe, grain and gluten free. Um, so these are all natural, um, healthy, tender treats packed with flavor and made with real duck. So that's fantastic. We always, um, you know, try to feed our dogs as healthy as we can. And I think just, you know, grain and gluten free is fantastic. And it looks like the value here is $8. And we have some more treats, and these are Nature's Bits, and they're with bison, apples, and peaches. No artificial colors or flavors, and they are oven baked treats. And again, grain and gluten free. And these are eight dollars as well. So so far we're at a value of sixteen dollars. So you know about half of the cost of the box. And there's one more treat. Mm, these aren't my favorite to give dogs. Um, and the vegetarian inside of me kind of feels sad holding this. Um, this is a pig ear. Um, so it's from South Carolina, contains no preservatives or added hormones, and it is a value of $3. So I know a lot of dog parents really love to give those kind of products to their pets. Um, because I'm a vegetarian, I don't love to handle those types of things. I don't, you know, I would never make my dog be a vegetarian because I don't believe in that, um, of course, but I don't like handling pig's ears, antlers, hooks, those kinds of things, just because it kind of, it make, does make me sad. Um, on to the toys. So there's two toys in here. I'm going to start with this one. And this is, it looks like it is a chew. So it is an ever tough squeak it and chew it so we've been hearing a lot of those noises over the past um, day or two and they can chew the middle of it it says artificial chicken flavor safe long-lasting chewing and gnawing it is a squeaky barbell so that's kind of cool it is a toy um, obviously puppies chew on a lot of things including socks, hair, toes, fingers, whatever they can get their hands on. So more toys, the merrier. Um, and this is valued at $11. So this is fantastic. And last but not least, this is New York at its finest. This is super cute. It is a pretzel, very durable. It feels like it's kind of hard to move. So this is a great toy for puppies. Um, this is valued at $12. It is a classic New York street treat, um, exclusive to BarkBox. Um, yeah, so she will definitely get some playtime out of this. And I like it because it has kind of the handle, so we can kind of tug, tug a war with it. Um, so that was the BarkBox. That was everything that was included. 
Um, so I think Victoria will definitely get some fun out of the goodies in here. I really appreciate you all taking the time to watch this video. I am hoping to do another video um, in just a couple of days with the items I ordered from the gift cards with my FabFitFun box. And if you like this video, I would love it if you would subscribe or just uh, hit the thumbs up. I hope that you all enjoy the rest of your week and I will talk soon. Take care.